Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. From this video, I am going to create a complete YouTube videos playlist on how we can create social media based web applications using Laravel as well as using some packages to add functionalities and to our social media based web application. So this will be a complete uh, playlist and uh, in this video I am going to demonstrate the application so I already have developed this uh, and uh, I'm going to show you the demo so that you can we can see that what is our goal and then after this we will start actually developing the application and starting from scratch and uh, going on to the advanced features so I will log into the application I call this uh, connect us uh, the application name so we can call it anything we want but for now I call this connect us maybe the one that we are going to be creating in this playlist we will call it uh, connect me or something like that some fancy names so this is the dashboard here we have the logo of the application then we have the functionality to search then I am currently on the home page so we can go to the home page from here as well as from here and then we have two section for uh, videos that will be posted on the application as well as we can find uh, and explore peoples or other users of the application then here we have the notification system where uh, all the notification will be sent to that specific user and that will be displayed right here and then we have the messages section uh, for that we have we were using uh, a package that provide a full fledged uh, uh, chat system uh, to uh, the application and then we have the profile section so we can log out from here as well as we can come to the settings of the application and we can change our profile and uh, we can change as you can see uh, we can manage the notification from here we can uh, change the profile information and we have help help desk that's just like we have in any uh, social media based uh, applications and the same thing uh, goes here this is points to the home page that is a uh, new page then we have the explore page which uh, has uh, the, this tag uh, here we will find different people that we can add uh, or send print request to and uh, one thing you might notice here is uh, we have the auto scroll feature on uh, this page the explore page as well as we have the same for videos as well as on the news feed so that is also what we are going to be uh, exploring in uh, this uh, videos playlist then we have groups uh, so uh, here we have popular groups the tag name here we will find uh, different groups and we can uh, search for a group as well as we can uh, follow or join a group and uh, uh, here we can search for that as well and if we have followed or joined any group then that will be uh, considered join for us and then we have pages so if I click on pages here we will see the pages uh, that are created now as you can see the images are uh, like showing the images are not loaded because we have uh, seeded the database uh, with back data because this is currently local so adding the data manually loading data manually to the application is uh, sometime um, quite uh, complex that's the reason we uh, seeded back data and the image is uh, empty and then we have the four pages we have uh, like followers and click on on that we can follow, we can view the page and we can view the author uh, this is the author we see the add sign and this is the page name and we can scroll down we have the auto scroll functionality is here as well and the same thing goes for the um, home page which I just like I mentioned before we have the auto scroll uh, functionality here now we can post uh, text messages as well as photos and videos in this and as well as we have the ability to like a, uh, a post uh, just like if I click on this as you can see now it's got uh, 93 likes and it has uh, comments and we can add our own comments as well and we can share a specific post on other social media platforms now we can like uh, save the post as well as unfollow or block the author that we do not see any um, any post from that author or that user 
now here we will have the uh, suggestions like we will suggest some pages as well as some groups to the user but currently as you can see it's empty because we seeded the pack data and uh, we do not have seeded data into that migration or table and then we have friend request so whenever you send or uh, someone sends you a friend request you will see that user uh, right here as well as you will add uh, we have a button where you can like accept the friend request or reject the friend request from that specific user then we have the ability to add a story so like we uh, just like on uh, other social media platforms like uh, instagram or tiktok or um, uh, uh, facebook we have the ability to um, share stories and just like that we have the same functionality here and now if uh, we can uh, the, in, on the home page we can also have the ability to like follow or, or send friend requests to different users and here we are, we are also showing the uh, mutual friends uh, currently as i mentioned before we have seeded the data so we do not have much data to uh, show mutual friends and then we can click on um, uh, a specific post as well and uh, if i click on this user profile it's going to redirect me to that user profile where i will see only that user uh, post so if we have a post from that specific user then we will see that right here as you can see this user has some posts of course as i mentioned before all of them are three hours ago so i see that database three hours ago that's the reason uh, it shows that right here and then uh, as you can see we have the thumbnail and we have the uh, the profile icon and uh, here is the username and the, the name the display name of that user and we can send a friend request to that user as you can see now we have sent a friend request to that user and then uh, once they're accepted our friend request we can communicate with that user as well so that is the functionality that we are going to be adding to this uh, social media based web application and also we will have the ability to verify users uh, also here we are uh, filtering the users posts like you can't post uh, 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 textual content that that are um, that they belongs to sexuality or pornography so that the every post will be filtered using we will be using different apis uh, and uh, when uh, uh, the uh, api approves that uh, uh, the text is clear and clean then we, we will post it otherwise we will have the ability to reject a post from being posted on this platform so that is another thing that we are going to be adding in this uh, project also uh, whenever you register yourself on the platform uh, you not you will not be able to directly come to the uh, home uh, dashboard until you verify either your uh, username uh, your phone number or uh, if i log out here let, let me show you what i mean so if i click, uh, come to the registration page uh, here we have uh, we can choose either i want to register with mobile or email so if you register with mobile then you, you will have to verify that um, mobile number we will be using different app uh, we will be using 12 in this case to send uh, mobile numbers and we have the ability to uh, send emails so when you register via email then you will have to verify your email and then we have to choose a profile uh, picture and uh, stuff like that also we can update our profile picture from the uh, from the uh, profile description so if i go there let me log into the application and show you where we can update our uh, email is invalid admin at connectus.com and password is uh, password we have saved it that user so that it's going to work so if i come to settings then i will come here to the uh, account information and uh, here as you can see we have the profile we can update our uh, profile information from here descriptions and uh, the the uh, profile icon i mean so those are the functionality also we have the admin panel uh, for admin panel uh, we are using uh, the filament so for admin panel we are using the filament to generate quickly uh, the admin panel so that is what we are going to be using later on to um, uh, at, uh, once we uh, uh, complete the user side or client side then we will come to 
the admin side we will be where we will be using the filament admin panel generator to generate a uh, admin panel for this application so i would highly highly recommend you to follow along with me and uh, let's uh, let's make it happen so um, in the next section we, we will uh, start by creating a simp uh, completely uh, creating laravel application from scratch and then uh, installing the required dependencies and uh, then from there we will carry on and uh, do it as we go so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one